Hi guys, this is our last week of me teaching you here online. So for the last week, normally when we're in the classroom, we do fun activities and we spend time together, but because we can't do that, um, I decided I was gonna give you some more different activities that you can um, do at home with your family. So I'm just gonna be showing you the activity and how to do it, and then you can go and do it on your own. So today, um, so this week, we are really gonna be working on practicing our snap words and making sure that we know those in and out and we do them to the best of our ability. So um, the first activity I have to practice snap words is making a word search. So with your family um, or someone like a friend that's with you, you guys can make a word search. And I'm just going to show you how to do that because we have not done that um, in the classroom. And so I just thought that this would be something fun you could do. So I gave you two options. I gave you a word search where I had snap words on these lines already for you. And then I added a blank one where there's nothing up here and you get to choose what words you put into your word search. So I'm going to show you how to make your own word search. So I just chose four words here. This over animal and books. And I'm gonna add those into these blank, um, this blank grid down here. So the way that you do this is you wanna make sure that your words go from left to right, just like you would read them, or you can write them up and down. If you wanna get really tricky, you could even add in a diagonal. Just make sure that you're still starting from left to right when you do that. Um, so I'm going to add the word this because it's blank. I can put it wherever I want to. So maybe I want to start here and I'm just going to write one letter in, oh, did that go? No, I'm going to write one letter in each box. Why is this not going? We're, try that. Let me click over here and try that again. Okay. So I have T, H, oops, that looks like an N, I, and then S. So there's my word, this. Okay. And then now I want to write the word over. I'm going to do that one up and down. So maybe I'll do it over here. O, V, E, R. So notice how I'm putting it right on top of one another, like the box that's right under it. Um, I'm not skipping any boxes because then it's not a word. They have to be right next to one another. Um, Okay, now I'm going to do animal. So maybe I want to come over here. And you can do this however you want. Just make sure that your words are, um, your letters are filling one box right next to one another. Okay, and then my last one, books. I'll do a diagonal one so that you guys could see that. Um, let's do you can also add words so like if I wanted to do books I could add it on to this like see how I have an s there for books I'm writing it backwards so see how I attached it there to the s you could do that too now this would be super easy if you said, mom, can I do this word search? So now you have to go into all of the extra boxes and you just put random letters, whatever letters you want to put in there. So I could do Z, W, L, S, R, E. See, these are not words. These are just, I'm just taking letters and I'm just putting them in there. Um, why? And I want to do that until I fill up my whole thing so that these letters then are disguised and mixed in with all the other letters. And then you can, um, you can give this to someone else to try. So this is just something fun. If you don't have a computer and you can't print it off, no big deal. I want you to take the snap words that are at the top and maybe write them in sentences or maybe you have your own piece of paper that you can make your own boxes in your own grid. However you guys want to use that is it is there for you to do. So I hope you guys have fun making your own word search today.